Dan has saved us thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars each and every year with his skill set. We are the first and only aviation unit that not only provides patrol services, but firefighting services, long line water rescue services, and mosquito control. And Dan has played a vital role in the success of this agency. And this award is well deserved. I've always wanted to be a pilot, be around airplanes, helicopters, everything that moves mechanical was cool to me. Got an opportunity to come here to Florida and work on airplanes and learn how to fly, so that, that was an easy choice. We have a 60s era Huey helicopter and it was in need of some upgrading and Dan was able to rewire the entire aircraft. That would have been extremely expensive if we would have had to send that out to an outside vendor. And that's just one of many things Dan's done. Really one of the first projects I wanted to tackle was upgrade our, our main Huey helicopter, like our utility helicopter. And took a bunch of stuff out, put a bunch of new stuff in. There were some new FAA mandates coming up, so uh, made the aircraft compliant. And I, I think we were one of the first Hueys in the US, maybe even the world, that had equipment that we did by the time we were done with it. It's a creative thing for me. Um, there's no book on where to mount this equipment. Um, there's a certain way it has to be mounted, um, but there was no book, no guidelines on where to do it in a Huey, so we had to trial and error that until we got it right. And it's the first time it worked, but it could be better, and then we moved equipment around, and then we nailed it, and it was perfect. When he fixes that helicopter, I have 100% confidence in, in every aspect of that helicopter. Not only does he fix them, but he also acts as a tactical flight officer, a rescuer, a crew chief. So he puts himself in that helicopter as well. So he's, he's taking on the risk and the responsibility that's involved with that. Dan brings a, a great work ethic that is contagious. And you can see that when you look at the, the aviation division. All of the guys, uh, they work great together. And Dan is able to not only learn, but Dan teaches a great deal. We have a great team. It's a relatively small team. We have two full-time pilots and we have two full-time mechanics. And both of the mechanics are pilots as well. Our youngest team member, Nathan, um, is 23 years old and he's essentially my apprentice. So I'm teaching him the ways of fixing aircraft and electronics. That's something I, I really want to pass on to him because that'll, that'll help him greatly and that'll make him a good mechanic and a good pilot. Dan is the kind of guy that you'd want with you no matter what you were doing. His quality of work is superior and he's always available to help out. Yeah, so I'm on call 24-7 for any potential aircraft issues that come up. It's not a problem to me, I, I actually enjoy it because I consider the aircraft mine, I'm responsible for him, so if there's anything that breaks and it can be something really simple, I want to know about it. I, mean, I take pride in the aircraft and I want to know everything about them and how they perform for the pilots. I've been in aviation for 20 years, former Army helicopter pilot, and uh, I've been around a lot of maintenance folks, and Dan is by far the best maintenance lead aviation mechanic I've ever been around. The service that we're able to provide to the community has changed significantly. Uh, just a few years ago, we were only providing law enforcement services. So we cover all these different missions for the county now, and that would have been totally impossible without Dan. All of the civilians in law enforcement agencies and sheriff's offices across the state are extremely important to the operations. I would just like to, to thank the FSA for giving us this opportunity to recognize Dan and the whole aviation team. Kim's a great surprise that I was nominated for this. Um, you know, it, I'm just me. I just feel like I'm doing my job. Um, but it makes me very happy that my work and my efforts are appreciated like this. So. I want to thank the Florida Sheriff's Association and the people that nominated me. Um, it's truly an honor to be receiving this award.